はいでは KJN 選手インタビュー始めます、えー、初参戦あまあ、ドリーム今回初参戦になるんですけども2日後に控えた現在の心境から So this time it will be that your first opportunity, opportunity to fight in the dream.、Uh, what is your feeling、uh, with your fight coming up in two days? I'm very excited to be fighting in dream.、Uh, it's always been my,、um, my, actual, my dream to fight in Japan, so I'm very excited.、Uh, I won the Pride audition trials, I think, about five years ago when they, in the US for Best Striker, and、uh, I was signed with Pride. And they gave me、uh, some fights in the States, and eventually I was supposed to go fight over in Japan. But、uh, that never actually worked out, so it's been a long time waiting. I'm really excited to be fighting in Japan, especially fighting for Dream. So,、um, for the fans, that it, it's our, you know, you are、uh, taking on the responsibility as a strike force fighter and, you know, representing strike, strike force coming to beat Dream. So, do, do you also have the same kind of feeling about it? Same kind of feeling about feeling, it? Feeling about, you know, this kind of image the Japanese fans have. Uh huh. Like uh, you're saying from fighting from strike force? Yeah. Representing strike force. Yeah. You know. How am I excited to、mm -hmm. fight? Or what do you mean, like how?、Uh, the question is that the, as are, do you, are you conscious or are you, do you think that the, you are fighting for strike force? Oh, okay. I got you. Okay.、Um, uh, am I fighting for strike force? I think、um, it's, I, I, I'm excited to be fighting for Dream. Um, you know, representing Strike Force, I think it's a good opportunity for the best fighters in the world to fight each other. So it's not just, you know, fighters just fight Strike Force fighters, Dream just fight Dream fighters. It's a great opportunity for the best fighters in the world to challenge each other. And when they gave me the opportunity to fight in Dream in Japan, I was very excited and、uh, I, I took the opportunity because、um, I've always wanted to fight here. あのやっぱりドリームで試合をしたいというふうに常に思ってましたのでそのストライクフォースを代表してドリームの,とのために試合をするというかそういうことを非常にワクワクして思っていますであのドリームはドリームの中だけでストライクフォースはストライクフォークの中だけで試合をするというのはあのよくないと思うのでやっぱり違う団体のベストファイターがよりあつよってこうあの新しい試合を見せていくということがあの大,大切だと思いますのでそういう意味で非常に嬉しく思っていますドリームのライト級の印象はどのようなの ?What kind of image do you have about the lightweight division of Dream?I think the lightweight division in Dream, I think the lightweight division in the world is the toughest and the hardest division to compete in, especially in Japan. They, they have、uh, some of the best fighters in the world, so I, it's a great opportunity for me to come over here and display my, my skills. And show the world that I am a top competitor in the lightweight division. So, this is the lightweight Q. 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 And what is your impression about Mr. Andre Jida? Your opponent?、Uh, my opponent, Andre Dida, I think he's a great fighter. He's fought some of the best lightweights in the world in MMA and K1 kickboxing. So he's,、uh, I have a lot of respect for him. You have to respect somebody that has that much power、uh, in their punches. And、uh, I'm very excited. There should be a lot of fireworks in the fight. It should be one of the fights of the night. <laughs> あのそうですね非常に素晴らしい選手だとであのライト級の中でもベスト選手の一人だと思っていますで MMA それから K1 どちらでもあの上手い選手だと思っていますのであの非常にリスペクトしていますでパンチもパワーがありますしあの素晴らしい火花の飛ぶような試合ができるのではないかと思います初めての日本の試合でどんなパフォーマンスを見せたいですか
and because uh, especially it is the first time for you to fight in Japan, what kind of performance or what kind of thing that you want to show uh, to the Japanese fans? Uh, well, you know, this is my first uh, fight in Japan, so I'm really excited, and um, all my fights are exciting. I train my I train my my hardest, my best for this fight, so I'm willing to. I'm ready to put on the best show, the best fight of the night, and uh, uh, should should be a, a great fight. I'm I'm really ready and I'm excited. あの、ま、非常にあの、エキサイティングな。常に自分はエキサイティングな試合をするようにしてるんですけれども、ま、この中でも今回の試合に向けてすごいトレーニングを今まで以上に積んできましたので、それをあの、いかなくこう発揮して
、じゃあそれでそのオーディションに受かったのに、会、う、場、ん、が上がりたくて、しかもその実会場自体が変わってしまったってことは、やっぱりすごいショックだった。And you, you, you went to the audition of a Pride and you passed it, and you are, you know, you are expecting that you're fighting in the Pride、uh, ring, but it wasn't realized. So, the q u e s t i And then finally, Pride has disappeared, so you must be disappointed. That. About, yeah.、Uh, well, I had the three fights in Pride,、um, but it wasn't in Pride. You know, I fought for Pride three times in the United States. Yeah, when, they, when I signed with Pride. And then after the three fights, they wanted me to fight in Japan and fight the best in the world in the tournament back then. Remember, Gomi, this is when Gomi was winning the tournaments.、Um, there was some really tough competition back then. So. I felt like it was a good time for me to go, go back to boxing. That's why I actually never came out to Japan after that. So I went to pro boxing after the three fights. That's why I never went back to Japan for Pride.、Um, but do I regret? No, because I felt like it opened up more opportunities and, and allowed me to fight in different things. And, and I got to fight for、um, different organizations and, and win a world title. And, and now I feel like I'm even more prepared now that I'm back in Japan. I'm, You know, a, a totally different fighter, a fighter that's 100 times better. And I won the Pride auditions back then, five, six years ago. So I feel like a much, a much better fighter. And、uh, I feel like I'm, I'm more prepared and、um, just better just to show my skills now in Japan. And I'm excited how now there's the dream show. And、um, I guess it's kind of, the dream is kind of like the old Pride, yes? So、um, here now representing and no, no regrets. I feel good. あのアメリカで3回やあのプライドでやってるんですけれども日本にその3回の後で来ることになってでトーナメントで当時そのゴミ選手とか結構有名どころの選手が揃ったトーナメントに出ないかというふうに言われてたところで消滅してしまってで、まあ、それをきっかけにちょっと自分はプロボクシングの方に戻りましてで、まあ、あの MMA から離れてた時もあったんですけれどもそれについてじゃあ,あのがっかりしてるか残念に思ってるかと言いますと。あのやっぱりいろんなその違うオーガニゼーションでの試合というのもその間に経験できましたしあの当時プライドがあったのは56年前の話なんですけれどもその時と比べてあの自分のスキル自体やっぱりもう100倍ぐらい自分自身強くなってるでそういう今だからこそこう日本に来れて試合ができるというのは良かったんじゃないかというふうに思ってますのでそういった意味であの残念だったという気持ちはありません。他にご質問よろしいでしょうか。あの日本って初めて来られましたか。それであと日本のイメージ、来る前と来てからのイメージを教えてください。はい。So have you,、uh, you have never been to Japan before, right? No, I have to learn.、Uh... I learn Japanese next time I come out here. I'll, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll learn Japanese. Next time I come out here, I'll You know, the,、uh, you, you used to have an image about Japan. Do I have an image about yeah, Japan? Yeah. Oh, yeah.、Um, have you, has it changed after you came to Japan? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. My, yeah, my image,、uh, my image of Japan has always been,、um, I've always been excited because of the history of the fighting and how much they,、uh, they have respect for the fighters and just the whole martial arts. So,、um, my actually image of Japan.、Um, Has it changed since I've been here? It's, I'm just, I've only been here one day, so I'm hopefully going to get out today and see more of it. But I love the culture. I love、uh, how much respect everybody has, how clean it is. I, I, I like it. I could see myself coming back here a lot more times. あのやっぱりその戦争の歴史というか戦いの歴史というものに常にそのリスペクトしてましたしでそれからあの格闘技の歴史というのもやっぱり日本は古いですのでその点ではそういうイメージが日本に対してはあったんですがまあ来てから変わったという。かという点についてはあの、まあ、まだ1日しか経ってませんので変わったという点ははっきりと言えないんですがやっぱり文化であるとかその、まあ、着てみてすごい綺麗な国あの清潔であるというところとかそういうところがすごいあの
あの分かった点で、あのこれからもっと日本に行きたいというふうに思いました。I also you can say too, you know, since you know, I live now in San Diego, but I grew up in Hawaii, and there's a you know, big Asian influence in Hawaii, so it kind of reminds me of home too, you know, brings me back when I used to live back in Hawaii. で今はサンディエゴに住んでるんですがあのこ自分の生まれはハワイですので,でハワイはそのアジアの影響を多大に受けてますのでそういった意味でもなんかこう故郷に帰ってきたような気持ちもあります好きな日本人選手とか尊敬する日本人選手って言います、uh, Is there any Japanese fighter you respect or admire? I, res I respect all the Japanese fighters I respect、uh, all the Is there one in particular? Is that what he's asking?、Um, if any If any I mean, I respect, I respect all the fighters. You know, anybody that's willing to get in there,、um, you know, anybody that's willing to train and have respect for the, for,、uh, respect for the sport and get in the ring, I have, I have respect for. Because it takes a lot to train, diet, eat, and, you know, get in front of thousands of people, especially on TV, and fight. So I have, anybody, I have respect for any fighter that, you know, gets in the ring. あの日本の選手をすべてリスペクトしています、特に誰ということではなくて、やっぱりその試合に出るに向けて訓練、あのトレーニングを積んで,で、このスポーツに対するそのリスペクトを持ってやってるっていう選手に対してはやっぱり自分はすごくリスペクトしています、でやっぱりこの世界でやっていくにはあのトレーニングも大変ですし、食事面でもすごく気をつけなければいけませんし、テレビの前でのパフォーマンスを見せるということも大変なことですので、そ,のそういう意味で皆さん、すごいと思います。あとあの意見を大人しそうなイメージなんですけど、格闘技を始めたきっかけというのは何でしょうか。So by appearance you look very calm and um what is the yeah calm and you know composed. Uh what made you start martial art? Well, I've had almost forty pro fights,、uh, kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing, MMA. I've had probably almost seventy-five to a hundred amateur fights.、Um, So, my father was a fighter. My father will be flying out today.、Um, he was a pro fighter, and he got me in it when I was a kid, five years old. So, I've been doing martial arts, boxing, kickboxing for you know, pretty much my whole life. And when I turned an adult, 18, that's what I got into. So,、uh, it's almost like a sense like I've been almost bred to fight. It just so happened that MMA came so big. You know, but I had already all the skills since I was a kid. So, the, just what I had to learn was the wrestling and the jiu jitsu, but that comes very easy being an athlete. So,、uh, it's、um, growing up doing martial arts and all that, it's, it's, a, it's just a, it's almost like a blessing in disguise from、uh, doing it my whole life and be able to compete now as an adult and, you know, make a living doing it. I and I, lo I, lo I love the sport, you know, I love this. えー、自分のプロとしてのキャリアは、まあ、キックボクシング、ムエタイから MMA 合わせて40戦ほどあります。でアマチュアとしてはあの75戦から100戦ぐらい積んでおります。というわけで、まあ、自分の父親もファイターで、プロファイターだったんですが、あの5歳ぐらいの時から自分もあの、まあ、生活の一部のような感じとして、あの MMA、あの総合格闘技とかあのボクシングとかやったりしてまして、で18歳になってあの試合をしてするようになって、本当にもう戦うために生まれたような気持ちが自分の中ではあります。でそういった中でたまたま MMA が最近こうメジャーになってきたということで試合をしてるんですけれども自分の中ではすごく生活の一部、まあ、生活手段というかお金を稼ぐ生計のためのものでもありますし本当に一部です。So you said your fighter was a p u l o fighter. What kind of sport? The fighting sport? What's that? Your father. Oh, yeah, my father fought pro、um, kickboxing. Back in the 70s. PKA. 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 Yeah, it's the association. That's what the league was back in the 70s. Thank you for your time. All right. Domo arigato.